endosmotic strictures after a liver transplant are very common. Um, we have, we're one of the biggest centres uh, sort of performing liver transplantation in the United Kingdom. Um, and if we leave these strictures untreated, it can lead to the liver failing. So we need to be able to stent these strictures in order to preserve the graft. So historically, we've used plastic stents, uh, which unfortunately mean uh, we, are, we have a fixed diameter that we can insert. Um, and these patients were coming back every three months for repeated ERCPs. And although we would treat the strictures, they would recur. Uh, and once they reoccur, then a lot of these patients um, need to have major biliary surgery. Um, so um, we, we've been looking for alternatives over the last couple of years to try and treat these strictures. One of our senior endoscopy nurses was flicking through uh, an endoscopy brochure magazine for uh, Tay Wong and they found these stents that are called cafe stents, which are designed for biliary anastomotic strictures. We started using the stent in 2016, uh, so for all anastomotic strictures that are suitable, we are now inserting cafe stents. We've done, I think, about 22 cases so far. Um, 16 or 17, we've actually uh, taken the stents out, but some are still within the system. But what we're finding is you know, improved efficacy of stricture resolution, so 88% uh, we found had complete stricture resolution. Um, there were sort of minimal complications, there was no migration of stent as we've seen previously. I think, however, the, the biggest impact has been that these patients don't need to come back for repeated ERCPs every three months. So once we've taken them out, so far we've not had stricture sort of, you know, uh, recurrence. So for obviously this is an ongoing uh, assessment and over time we might find that these patients do come back. But so far, you know, we've freed up a lot of uh, ERCP slots for other patients. So overall our patients have benefited from uh, this new stent. So this is a patient we've done here at King's. You can see they've got clearly a anastomotic stricture. Um, so uh, this is pre-cafe uh, stent insertion. Um, and then this is at the time of the stent insertion. So ideally you want more than two centimeters away from the hilum. Uh, you can see the stent is in situ within the duct and you can see the, the removable threads have been deployed. Uh, and then we normally bring our patients back sort of eight to 12 weeks afterwards. And what you can see here, the stent has been removed uh, and now you can see the, the stricture is resolved. So we're trying to roll this out into a nationwide uh, UK-based study, um, multi-centre involving all the other transplant centres and the satellite transplant centres, um, and see if this can be introduced as standard of care. Uh, we've had very good uh, outcomes with this stent and I think patients can only benefit from this. Mm -hmm.